morning, everyone. Buenos dias. Ooh. Don't forget the magic trick, Hannah. Gotta talk to myself. Another Ollie that's been watching too, and he lives in Utah. Two Ollie, there, she, there he is. There's the other Ollie. There's my two Ollie friends. Um, and it would be so cool if you told me where you're watching from. Um, I think we have had eight states so far and two countries. I have some friends in Peru that watched on Monday. So, por favor, dime donde viven. Please tell me where you live. And please tell me who's watching. Por favor, dime quien esta mirando. Um, oh, I love you guys too. Les quiero mucho. Ooh, Aurora, Illinois, shout out. Can't wait to go visit you guys again. All of you. I'll be taking a big road trip. <laughs> Once we can get out again. Um, also, I have started putting these on YouTube as well. So if you have a friend that is not on Facebook that would like to see. Um, I made a playlist. I will put the link in the comments later, but it's my short one is bit.ly slash BST playlist. That's for bilingual story time. Um, so we had almost a tie. Well, we actually did end up with a tie between our two books. So yesterday we read Clifford. Um, Casi tenemos un empate. We almost had a tie. So, ayer leemos Clifford. And today we're going to read... Canuffle Bunny! I know you're thinking, what? Well, i got to get used to this camera thing. You're thinking, why are you saying Canuffle Bunny? The K is supposed to be silent, right? Well, I listened to an interview with the author. He's Dutch, and in Dutch, the word knuffle means um, a hug or a snuggle. It kind of sounds like snuggle a little bit. So um, that's why the bunny is named knuffle. And um, in the story, today we're going to read it in English and Spanish, and we have a Dutch word, knuffle. So we kind of have a trilingual story today. Um, do you guys want to start with some songs? Or we can do the songs at the end. And I have my own little conejito. Tengo mi propio conejito, my little bunny. Oh, hi, Sonia. Hi. Oh, let me get your boys' names. Titus and Levi and Andrew. Um, good morning. Buenos dias. So, let's do some songs. We usually start with some songs, and then we'll do our story. So, we will do um, Los Pollitos again. We're getting pretty good at it, right? I am so used to looking at the camera on the other side and know this would be so dramatic, but I'm so excited that it works. All right, so if you want to re- all the words. It says Los Pollitos dicen pew 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 because they're little chicks and they're talking to their mom. And Titus and Andrew and um, Levi have real chicks at their house or real chickens anyway. So they know about them saying pew pew pew. <laughs> um, cuando tienen hambre, cuando tienen frío. So we'll sing it. Los pollitos dicen pio 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 cuando tienen hambre cuando tienen frío. And what does their mom do? She has to look for corn and wheat to give them to feed them and warm them up. So the second verse. La gallina busca. Oh, I always forget this one. La gallina busca. El maíz y el trigo. Wow. La, la gallina busca el maíz y el trigo que les da comida y les presta abrigo. So we'll try that again. La gallina busca el maíz y el trigo que les da comida y les presta abrigo. Oh, good morning, Mandy. Good morning, Eva and Ava. Um, we'll do that one one more time. 
Bagagem na busca é o país e o trigo Que lhes dá comida e lhes presta abrigo Hey Sally! <laughs> Um, and the last verse says, underneath her two wings, um, the mother hen wraps up the chickens, and they sleep all night until the next day. Good morning, Ellie, Abby, Hannah, and Caleb. Um, here we go. Um, Baja sus dos alas, acuro cavitos, hasta el otro día. I'm supposed to say Duermen. Oh, <laughs> I know. The song gets stuck in my head, too. Um, but that's good if you're trying to learn another language. Muy bien para aprender otro idioma. Learn by songs. Aprender por canciones. Um, so we can do that one again at the end. I need to work on it a little bit. Podemos hacerlo de nuevo luego porque todavía estoy practicando. Um, but I do have a new song that I want to do, and it's very easy. It's a counting song. Tengo otra canción, otra canción nueva. Es muy fácil y es para aprender de contar. So if you already know how to count in Spanish, it's be especially easy for you. Um, but we'll just review either way. So I need you to hold up your numbers. So you gotta say uno. Oh, here's what I'll do. Uno, uno. Dos, dos. Tres, tres. Cuatro, cuatro. Cinco, cinco. Hi, Isla. Got my conejito for you. So we'll do it one more time. Uno, uno, dos, dos, tres, tres, cuatro, cuatro, cinco, cinco. That's just one, two, three, four, five. We can do more later. But in the song, that's what we're going to use. Okay. The song is very silly. I'm going to see if you can figure out what it's about before I tell you. I'm going to give you a clue, though. There are two other animals in the song. One of them sounds very similar to the name that we call it in English, too. So it goes like this. I'm going to practice. Okay. Cannot find the pitch. Because I am not a pro, but I'm doing this for fun, so it doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> wow, I'm not doing it on you clearly. Wow, you guys are getting a quality live video today. Let me tell you. We're doing it on this, though. Because I practice on this. Un elefante se balanceaba sobre la tela de la araña Como veía que resistía so that means un elefante one elephant se balanceaba was balancing sobre la tela de la araña does anyone know what araña means and i was waiting for you to talk <laughs> spider <laughs> we're just being so goofy today me and the conejito um so I don't even mean spider so the elephant was balancing on the spider's web and when he saw that it didn't break that it resisted he went to call another elephant and that's when you get the counting so then you say dos Dos elefantes se balanceaban sobre la tela de la araña. Como veían que resistía, fueron a llamar otro elefante. And then you do it again. Tres, cuatro, cinco. 
Tres elefantes se balanceaban sobre la tela de la araña. Como veían que resistía, fueron llamar a otro elefante. And it goes kind of fast, but uh, it's good practice to get a little more fluent. So we can keep on counting more and more. Um, And then I was going to do head, shoulders, and toes, but I didn't, didn't give myself a lot of room to move today because I keep on changing my spot. But I'm going to figure it out. Or I guess I could do it like this because you can already see my head and my shoulders and my knees. And then you just have to see my toes. So that's not that hard. We can do it. So yesterday we sang head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Ayer cantamos cabeza, hombros, rodillas, pies. Yes, you can do it. Um, I wish my puppets had shoulders and knees and toes because then that would be easier. But they do have ojos and orejas and a boca. Their bocas have words in them because they're cool. Um, y nariz. So, I'll do it and the bunny will do it. I'll do the parts that I have. The bunny will do the rest. Okay, ready? And you guys can stand up if you're at home and you want to stand up and dance. Ready? Cabeza, hombros, rodillas, pies, rodillas, pies. Cabeza, hombros, rodillas, pies, rodillas, pies. Ojos, orejas, boca y nariz. Cabeza. Almost rodillas, pies, rodillas, pies. <laughs> yes, Julian. <laughs> Very silly. <laughs> All the time. Um, yeah, so we can do some more at the end. Um, but we'll start the story. El Conejito Knuffle. The Knuffle Bunny, or in Dutch the snuggle bunny or in English the knuffle bunny because we just keep it in Dutch oh thank you Rosie <laughs> Rosie told me good job in the text from her mom thank you sometimes it's hard so gotta gotta do our best okay and I really want you guys to see the amazing pictures in this book so I'm gonna try to get it right it is so hard to find the camera since it's reversed didn't think it was going to be hard all right there we go so now we're getting pictures of trixie's family okay aquí tenemos los los cuadros de la familia de trixie trixie's a little girl trixie es la niña see trixie gotta find my all right, I just gotta look at the camera for this one. There is Knuffle Bunny and Trixie. And Trixie, it's a real little girl. All right. So when we're reading this story, I want you to think about what do you do when you have a problem and you don't know how to solve it? Okay. Quiero que pensan de que pensen. Piensen. Wow. Spring break. <laughs> Quiero que ustedes piensen de qué hacer cuando tienes un problema que no sabes cómo resolver. What do you do when you have a problem and you don't know how to solve it? Okay, and these words are so big, so maybe you can actually see them. A little bit, at least. All right. No hace mucho tiempo, antes de que supiera hablar, Trixie se fue a hacer un recado con su papá. Not very long ago, before she knew how to talk, Trixie went to run an errand with her dad. Here they are, going on an errand. And look at these cool pictures. That's a real picture of Brooklyn, New York. Eso es un foto de Brooklyn, Nueva York. 
but the author drew his own pictures right on top of it. I think that's so cool. And it is the same author. The author and the illustrator are the same person. Mo Willems. Dibujo los dibujos. Y escribió la historia. So you can see Trixie is carrying Knuffle Bunny with her. And her dad has a big bag of something. Trixie está llevando su conejito. Remember Conejito? Little, little bunny. Y su papá está llevando algo más. They're going on a long trip. Well, it seems like a long trip to a little girl. Hi, Walter. Hi, Caitlin. Oh, I miss you guys. I'm sure you're so big. Um, you guys, some of my students from my old school are tuning in, and I'm so happy. Um, that is so cool. So, Trixie and her dad are just getting ready for their day. They're, they're just getting ready for their errand. They're going on a little trip, but it seems like a long trip. Because she's just a little girl. Porque es muy pequeña. Okay. Trixie y su papá fueron hasta la esquina. They went to the corner. Cruzaron al parque. They crossed through the park. I love it. It's a real park. But the author put his own pictures there. I think it's so cool. Pasaron, pasaron fuente. Dragon. Pasaron frente a la escuela. They pass in front of the school. Oh, school. I miss school. A mí me extraño. La escuela mucho. And maybe you can see in the picture where they're going. Y entraron en la lavandería. They entered in the laundromat. I guess they're going to go wash their clothes. You can figure that out from the picture and the words. Trixie ayudó a su papá a meter la ropa en la lavadora. Trixie helped her dad put the clothes in the washer. Can you see what she's doing? She's not really helping that much, is she? <laughs> but that's okay. She's learning. Ya no sabe ayudar mucho, pero está aprendiendo. Her dad is really doing the work. Uh-oh. I see a problem. It's going to happen. Veo un problema que va a pasar. We always read books with problems. Because it's interesting to find out how they solve them. And we always have problems, too, that we have to solve so we can learn from books about problems. Hasta puso el dinero en la máquina. She even put the money in the machine. That's so cool. She's such a big girl. Entonces se fueron. Then they left. Dun, dun, dun. Do you notice something that she doesn't have? Oh, you can even see it in the picture. Look inside the lavadora. What's inside the washer? Ooh, oh, can you see inside the washer? Something's in there. Something very special and important. Algo muy especial, importante. E importante. You guys, I'm still learning. Todavía estoy aprendiendo. I hope you are learning too. Pero a una cuadra más o menos, but about a block away, more or less. Trixie se dio cuenta de algo. Look at her face. Can you make that face like when you realize something? Mm! I can do it. Can you do it? You think El Conejito can do it? He sort of looks like that all the time. Trixie miró a su papá y le dijo. Trixie looked at her dad and said, can you see what she said in the picture? 
Agugu yakayamagu. I don't have to translate that. No tengo que traducir eso. Because when little babies and toddlers start talking, it's not really English, it's not really Spanish, it's just baby talk, right? Agugu yakamagu. That's fun to say though. You can try it. I think the rabbit wants to try it. I don't really know what rabbits really say, for real. Agugu kayamagu. Agugu kayamagu. Do you think her dad knew what she said? Piensan que él entendió a la niña? Let's see. Eso es, contestó su papá. That's right, her dad answered. Vamos a casa. Let's go home. Did he understand? El entendió. Oh, you can see the words are getting bigger. Pueden ver que las palabras se ponen más grande. Oh, I miss you guys too. Agugu ya camago! Dijo Frixi otra vez. She said again. What's funny is in the English one of this book, which I don't have, but I've read before, it says something else. It's like, Agu clavo flavo. Like, why did they translate the baby talk? I don't know so funny. I guess we have different ways of representing it in different languages. No sé por qué se llama algo diferente en inglés que agugu y acamago. Oh, now she's saying something else. Ya gugu makaya, ya gama pagamu. And at the end, maybe you can understand what she's saying. It says, sniff. Like a little sniff because she's gonna cry. Do you know what's wrong? Saben qué pasó? Her dad doesn't know. Do you know? Anda, por favor, no te pongas quisquillosa, dijo su papá. Come on and walk, please. Don't be so. I looked up quisquillosa yesterday. It was like picky. Fussy. I think fussy is what I was going to say. Don't be so fussy, dijo su papá. Claro, a Trixie no le quedó más remedio. Clearly, to Trixie, there was no other solution. Y berio. You're going to figure out what that means when you see the picture. This picture. Wah! So what do you think? Berio means... She wailed. Convirtió en un trapo. She turned her body into a rag. She wouldn't even hold herself up. That's another funny thing. In the English one, it says she turned herself into jelly. It's so funny. Hizo todo lo que pudo para que se dieran cuenta de lo enfadada que estaba. She did everything she could to make her dad understand how upset she was. I think even the people in the park understand. You can see in their faces. Don't you guys love these pictures? No les gustan tanto de esos dibujos. Esos dibujos. Dibujos. They're so cool. Guess what? They're home. See the mom? Nada más abrir la puerta, la mamá de Trixie preguntó, ¿Dónde está el conejito Knuffle? As soon as they opened the door, Trixie's mom asked, Where is Knuffle Bunny? You would think that the dad would have figured it out. <sighs> so silly. <laughs> Look at her face. Look at how her dad's carrying her sideways. <laughs> and the dad is like, Ugh, I don't know. We lost it. Do you see Trixie has a problem? Let's see what they do to solve it. Okay, now we're going back on our journey again. Oh, here we go. Toda la familia corrió hasta la esquina. The whole family ran to the corner.
Is that my mom commenting? <laughs> I think my mom commented from my account. Um, yes. As my mother always said, that's why I'm the mom. Because she could always find things that we couldn't. Very true. Anyway, the whole family ran to the corner. Y cruzaron el parque corriendo. And they crossed the park, running. We're going back on the same trip. Pasaron zumbando por delante de la escuela. They passed the school, zooming by. Hasta llegar a la lavandería until they arrived at the laundromat. Do you think they're going to find Knuffle Bunny? I hope so. Espero que sí. El papá de Trixie buscó al conejito Knuffle. Y buscó, y buscó. He looked and looked. You know what? We know that word buscó from that song, Los Pollitos. Because it says, la mamá, la gallina busca el maíz y el trigo. It means that you're looking for something or you're searching for it. But did he find it? Lo encontró? Pero el conejito Knuffle no estaba por ningún sitio. But Knuffle Bunny was nowhere. Oh, look at Trixie. She's so... Do you remember the word that we talked about on Monday when you read Chrysanthemum? Feliz or oh, triste? She's so triste. Así que el papá de Trixie decidió volver a buscar otra vez. So Trixie's dad decided to go back and look again. Hasta que... Look where he's looking. Can you see? <laughs> he's sticking his head inside the washer. Está poniendo su cabeza dentro de la lavadora. Mi conejito! Mi canuffle! My buddy! My snuggle! Because remember, canuffle means snuggle in Dutch. So fun. Trilingual book. Kinda. Y esas fueron las primeras palabras que dijo Trixie. And those were the first words that Trixie ever said. She finally spoke. She finally said, mi conejito. My little bunny. My conductor bunny. So, did you notice what problem was in the story? And how... They finally solved it. Uh, Ustedes dieron cuenta de cuál fue el problema en ese libro y cómo lo resolvieron. Uh, maybe today you can draw a picture of how you solve a problem. Um, sometimes we really just need some help to solve our problems, don't we? Uh, quizás hoy pueden dibujar un dibujo de um, cómo resuelvas un problema. Porque a veces necesitamos ayuda para resolverlo, no. Sometimes we ask for help. A veces preguntamos o oh, buscamos ayuda. Pedimos ayuda de alguien. And sometimes they have to ask for more help, right? Trixie asked her dad. And then her dad asked her mom. Well, kind of. He came home with a problem and she figured it out. So sometimes if we work together, we can solve our problems better than if we tried on our own so i love to hear from you guys how you are solving your problems um and how you might be helping someone else solve a problem so um that is el conejito canuffle again i'm going to put this on youtube maybe i might read it again honestly and do like a cleaner take because i got a little hung up but uh, either way i'm going to put a video of it on youtube and we are gonna sing again. And how about with the guitar? So let's do Un Elefante, and maybe we can do some in English and some in Spanish. So get ready for Un Elefante. Un Elefante se balanceaba sobre la tela de la araña. Como veía que resistía, fue a llamar otro elefante. Dos elefantes se balanceaban sobre la tela de la araña. Como veía que resistía, fueron a 
yo en barro que le falte. Tres elefantes se balanceaban sobre la tela de la araña. Como veían que resistía, fueron a yo en barro que le falte. Cuatro elefantes se balanceaban sobre la tela de la araña. Como veían que resistía, fueron a yo en barro que le falte. What comes next? ¿Qué viene próximo? Can I get my hand in? Cinco elefantes se balanceaban sobre la tela de la araña. Como veían que resistía, fueran a llamar otro elefante. Maybe when we practice a little bit more, we can go faster. Quizás podemos practicar más para ir más rápido. Oh! <laughs> That's sweet. You'll have to tell me how old they are. Um, <laughs> and maybe we can do Los Pajitos on the guitar. I just have to think about it. What's cool is the ABC song and the backwards ABC song and um, Los Pajitos all have the same chords. So we can just do a little remix. But we'll do Los Pajitos if you missed it at the beginning. Um, yeah, and then I'll work on getting this on YouTube. And hello to Kai and Callan and Copley and um, Holly and Zeke and Anna, who are going to watch on YouTube later today. Um, so, can't wait to share with you guys. Um, all right, we'll do Los Pochitos. Los Pochitos dicen pio, 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 cuando tiene hambre. So if you have any suggestions for me, other songs you want to do, other books you want to read, um, just other ideas, please let me know. Uh, if you guys like that short video that I put up yesterday, you can let me know that. If you like to watch long videos, let me know. Just trying to help your days go by with a little more happiness while we're stuck inside. Um, this is really fun for me. I uh, wish I could see you guys though. And just hope you guys are staying healthy and safe inside. And then hope we can get out soon after that. So. You guys have a great day. Give me all your feedback. Um, que todos tengan un buen día, muy seguro, muy sano. Y dame todos sus comentarios sobre lo que prefieren, los videos cortos, los videos largas, um, en vivos o no. Okay? So, talk to you guys later. Have a great day. Adios.